Hey everyone, in this Titan Tutorials video, we're going to show you how to replace the sway bar bushings on your Nissan Titan. We'll be replacing them with these bushings from Mevatech. Very affordable and available through any auto parts store. Here's the part number in case you'd like to use them as well. This is an extremely simple job that should take no more than an hour to complete. To access the sway bar bushings, we'll need to remove this metal bracket. There are two bolts holding each bracket in place and we're after this rubber bushing that sits behind the bracket. To remove the bolts, we'll be using an 18 millimeter socket. It doesn't matter which bolt you start with, just loosen each bolt by turning it counterclockwise. Take each bolt out and inspect it. We'll clean the bolt up before we reinstall it. Now that we've removed the bolts, we can remove the bracket by pulling it away from the sway bar. After years of use, dirt and other gunk can build up behind the bracket, so be sure to clean that up. We now have access to our bushing, which we can remove. If you find it difficult to remove the bushing, pull the sway bar out just a bit so that the bushing is no longer wedged in like it is here. Now we'll take care of the driver's side. Same process here, use an 18 millimeter socket to remove each bolt, give it a quick inspection, and move on. Pop the bracket off and remove your bushing. Again, you can see all the gunk that builds up back there over time. Be sure to clean that up, both on the sway bar and on the frame. Here's one of our old bushings. All in all, it's pretty beat up and it's definitely time for a replacement. You can see how the rubber is torn on the end, chunks are missing from the inside, it's corroded. If your sway bar bushings look anything like this, it's time for a replacement. Here are the replacement bushings from Mevatech. We're showing them again to illustrate just how beat up the old bushings are. This is what you want your bushings to look like. These bushings in particular open up in the middle. There are others that open up in the corner. It's really just a matter of preference. Now that we've looked over our new parts, let's get them installed. We're back on the passenger side. We want to open the bushing up and fit it over our sway bar. The flat portion of the bushing should sit flush with the frame. You may need to move the sway bar in or out just a little bit. Next, we'll fit our metal bracket over top of the bushing and make sure that the holes line up with the frame. After that, all we have to do is put the bolts back into place using our 18 millimeter socket. We'll go back over to the driver's side and do the same thing. Double check that all four bolts are tightened to 94 foot pounds and you're done. Replacing the sway bar bushings on your Titan is a very simple job and we hope this video helps you with your next install. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.